Hello everybody and welcome back, I'm Cam Christo. This is the If Necessary for Years, If Necessary Alone campaign in Hearts of Iron or Black Ice. So, in the last episode, our mighty conflict with the Empire of the Japan, of the Japan, of Japan, kicked off. And we found ourselves butting heads with the mighty Imperial Navy. Right now, we've got some... Uh, some subs, Oof, quite a few of them being sent to the bottom by these improved destroyers, but I'm hopeful that we're going to be able to uh, give them what for in a minute. Our fleet oh, is going the wrong way. I want you to come back over to Singapore, please. Buddy boys. Come back to Singapore. Good. Rebase base out of Singapore. These guys are repairing up and then we'll, we'll come and remerge with this fleet. Once they're done, but in the meantime, I'm happy with this fleet active, being active. Ooh, nice. Got one of the destroyers, probably from the air. Okay. <clears throat> Let's get going here. Right, and there's also a large American fleet basing out of here, uh, which we'll see whether they actually come and help us. I don't know whether they will. Now we have... Right, one thinks the squads on there are without orders, so that's annoying. It's just them, isn't it? Yeah, all right, we'll dismiss that then. <clears throat> right, uh, yeah, more naval victories, taking down a bunch of their convoys. They've landed fairly significant numbers of men, of course, which is uh, not ideal, which means I think, yeah, we need to get some Get some trucks going over here. We're moving over here with you, and you are moving over as well. And you're moving over as well, yeah. You can go here. Okay, good. We have our, our scouting and escorting forces have momentarily been put back into port. What are you guys doing? You're just sub reserves, and you're my main topping up reserve. All right, bring over those subs to the Malay reserve though. Advanced cruiser escort. You should join the main fleet, please. <clears throat> okay. Now in the east, they've landed relatively well, but they are right. Yes, we're taking the port ahead of them, I remember. Uh, and here, we're seeing if our Australian New Zealand? I think this is a New Zealand one, isn't it? Yeah, New Zealand, um, is that? No, that was Australia. They're very similar. If our Australian uh, motorized can, can drive them out of that port, we will see. Uh, the Marines are on their way over. They're taking the, taking the, the road route. Meanwhile, we are holding in the Balkans, and America has started sending men to... Uh, garrison the home countries. I have to imagine America's going to launch a bunch of failed naval invasions. Or I don't know, maybe the AI will let them cheat just to ensure the war goes historically and just like spawn a bunch of American troops in Normandy. I hope it doesn't because that's a bad, bad game design mechanic in my humble opinion. And yes, America, if they deploy a lot more men, they would be able to take control of the faction, which obviously we don't want them to be able to do. So we do need to keep Keep deploying some men with that in mind. You know, only 60 torpedo attack on these guys, but if we can stay hidden and loose the occasional torpedo. And yes, we are managing to push them out of Sumatra. They're yet to land on Java. So I'm feeling relatively good so far about how this, uh, this conflict has started. These guys find themselves in low supply. Don't love to see that. All right, there's Bomber Command. I'm going to keep going through the... Everyone's going to want the Air Production Group and Lord Beavebrook as well, getting those bonuses. And then I don't think we need these. Bouncing Bomb. Air Experience Gain, Ace Generation would be nice. And then these are just more strategic bombing, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, Fighter Command is next. Okay. Right, we have decrypted a bunch of ciphers. Yeah, and these 
Let's go look at the defeats just to make sure nothing disastrous happened. Yeah, one sub, that's fine. Cancel the rest and then. And we have been raiding them pretty effectively. They're still yet to actually try and attack Hong Kong. I'm tempted at this point to try and reinforce Hong Kong, but I don't feel like I can defend the, the convoy routes up there in any kind of long-term capacity. Who is that? That's British Malaya. Give me give me that troop specifically. So select all these troops. Not that one. The rest you can have back. Just give them straight back. You, I need you to make sure you get into that port. Okay, so these guys will need to dock up. Regain some organization. Got a whole bunch of conflicts. And this... I could do with simplifying this a bit, like... The African theater. Can I give you... Can I call you Africa instead? Uh, I'm sure it's mostly West, uh, Eastern Africa, isn't it? Let's call this Eastern Africa and then put it under the home theater. Just so I have some more room. And then Scandinavia. Likewise. Let's call this... Central East, Far East, Pacific... Northern Europe, Eastern Europe. There isn't one that quite fits. Or at least not one that I'm spotting. I guess you're Northern Europe. We do already have a North American, but yeah, Northern Europe. You can come under the Home Guard ones. Fine. And you have some unassigned orders, apparently. Ah, yes. I tried to save time there, didn't I? Let's just do that. Good. Now, in the East... Yeah, right, we've pulled back from the front because the, the supply situation there is bad. But this is a fine point to hold. We've got some mountains and some jungles, and they have merely hills to sit in. These guys are all going to acclimatize to the heat. <clears throat> Meanwhile, in the north, uh, we are planning to attempt a an attack in here, for which we should motorize this. We are very low on fuel because we're having to run a whole lot of... Uh, oh, wow, very short on aluminium. It seems unlikely. Well, let's import anyway. America, I need a whole bunch more fuel from you, please. Let's see if we can stabilize the situation. And then we need to unmotorize some places. Um, which is very annoying because it's really hard to see where all your motorized places are. Let's let's put these down to partial motorization. Hope that's sufficient. And then, yeah, we have this fully motorized, but I want to keep that search. Okay, good. So these guys are almost... Oh, there's a big... There's a, there's a not too, too big Japanese fleet right there. All right, as soon as these guys... We're going to let them fully reorganize, though. It's not worth... Uh, it's not worth... I, I mean, you know I really want to attack that fleet, but it's not worth doing it just uh, in a hurry. I mean, we can't throw anything away here. What else have we got going on? Yeah, some little convoy raiding around the Philippines. We can sink as many as possible of these Jer these uh, Japanese troops. How are we doing, by the way? I can actually check that, can't I? Because almost all the Japanese casualties against us will be sunk. Yeah, we've sunk 160, 196,000 Japanese guys. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. In the first, whatever it was. It was this year that the war started. I think that's like 10 days. 200,000 casualties at sea for the Japanese. Mexican entry to the Allies. Yes, or we have other plans. Sure. Mexico, welcome to the Allies. Why not? Come join our wars. You have some... You probably have some ships you can use to help. That's fine. Ah, and these guys, are you... They're just all in the Allies. I guess America pulled them in. Okay, so, you guys still moving in there. Still going to get there ahead of them. Two days. Yeah, 19. Very much easily ahead of them. And you? You're going there in five days. Could I get there before that? No. Crossing this river is uh, it's going to cost me. Okay. Well, I think it actually makes sense for you to strat redeploy over here. So that we can help defend the port. Once we've taken it back off them. They are attacking adjacent to the port, but without supplies. So, 
That's pretty good. I can't move these guys because they're they're entrenched. You guys are crawling along. Okay. Is the navy reorganized? Not yet. I could do with... Are there any more planes? Yeah, okay. You two. You're kind of at a loose end, aren't you? Let's get you... Let's get you down here. Um, yeah, we'll fly you in the Gulf of Thailand. And obviously switch these guys over to target navies. And then... Mm, yeah, you we really aren't needed there. That one is kind of useful. Let's split this one. Because they're not really... They're not pressing us in the air war at sea. Let's take these two. Which together almost make 100. And fly them. Yeah, if we can take Indochina. That'll be useful for air bases. I guess I'll fly them from here. Mm. Or here. Yeah, there we go. Get them active over here. Then I can just reduce the size of this wing slightly. By, what was it, six? Good. And that puts this to 100, so we're not overstacking that airbase. Okay. Come on, ships. Reorganize. Reorganize for all your worth. Because there's these titchy titchy Japanese fleets that I'd love to just smash while they're trying to hit my uh, my sub forces so in fact to that end no I can't transfer it under to under Mountbatten we need these guys to stay under Cunningham I think he's got the he's got the stats to make them work okay but invasions wise Ooh, we're getting some vision on people right now. Yeah, they have got lots of troops marching through Saigon. Who's ready to deploy? No, our new infantry army? Okay. You guys can uh, just deploy in. in Gloucestershire, that's fine. Um, more battles. Pretty, pretty victorious so far in the air. They haven't seemed to... Uh, yeah, I mean, if we can deny them all these air bases on the islands... We'll be able to just keep having a go at them with our bombers, which will be good. Alright, you guys are obviously part of the Home Guard. So Northern Europe. Right, Northern Europe also includes all of you guys. Yeah, that's fine. You can stay in there. Good. And it is to, to this section that these guys can go. Good. It gives us our, our 15 there. Meanwhile, in the Balkans, still holding fine, just inflicting some casualties on the Germans, tying down some of their divisions, which they'd, I'm sure, like to have against the Germans. It is winter now. Their advances, advance does seem to have slowed somewhat. Not as much as I'd like, of course. All right. These guys, very nearly organized up. Need to give them another... Yeah, a little bit more time. But then, yeah, I'd love to sail forth and take out some of these little itty-bitty Japanese fleets. I am tempted to try and hold um, Hong Kong now. It is tempting. We arrived in that port yet. Ah, yes, and then we were immediately evicted from it. Damn. Hadn't really considered that they'd be able to do that over a river into the woods. But I might be able to retreat and then come back again before they uh, have a chance to stop me. I can't damage the port, can I? No. Um, what else could I do about that? Let's not worry about it. Because those, those marines, are they're good is the problem. Yeah, they've got mountain artillery and stuff. So they're in their element. But where we can get them is at sea. These guys are very nearly fully organized. Close enough, I'd say. Strike force, sally forth. Go get them. And we'll stay in just these regions to start with, and we'll see how it goes. Sundra Islands, dangerous naval invasion, but it's an actual naval invasion, so I'm less worried about it. 
And it appears we have already managed to do some damage to... Oh, I don't have any fighters there. Damn. I should obviously have some fighters there. Let's sit, fly these guys down. Because we don't need to be on Sumatra right now. There's no, uh, no actual battle for Sumatra. Have we got enough fighters to deploy another wing? No. Getting there on naval bombers, though. Okay. So, Sally's fourth, Andrew, Andrew Cunningham. The Pacific Fleet. As we shall call it. Yeah, I mean, that is a relatively substantial little, little Japanese navy. How are we doing on intel against the Japanese right now? Very good on the navy. So we know that they have only, you know, 120 destroyers, which is a lot, but if we can melt them in sets of 10, that's not that many battles that we have to get through before they're uh, in seriously hot water. The French fleet... Getting the French, French fleet is just so advantageous. And... Damn. They might have got away with it. Yep, damn. Okay, we didn't spot them in time. But they can go to these ones... But they're not doing so. Okay, roll out. How do I... Um, is there like a... How do I select all the units in this army? You lads. Go back on spotting. And you lads, you repaired? Come rejoin the main fleet. You lads, you've repaired? Yes. Come rejoin the main fleet. Okay, good. Yeah, no, the French fleet has been extremely helpful because they were they were prudent enough to just hand it over when the uh, so we've been able to use it to significantly bolster our forces. Ah, oh, the Greeks have moved forwards. That was not in the plans. Or was this? Was I holding this tile before? I forget. We kind of should, right? Because there's a there's a river line there. Did we get pushed? Did we just get pushed back from this tile? I'm not sure, but either way, let's let's take it back. Or let's take it rather, because yeah, that line is nicer and it gives us a much easier access to um, Sophia when the time comes for for that. The fighting here is still very much in our favour in the air. Good, and they're still not attacking us on the home islands, basically, at all. Aha, and these two have finished their air exercises. Okay, let's send them over. Put one of them there. And another one can just be based out of Singapore, which we might redeploy. Okay, yeah, instantly finding them, because we have so many scouting forces, which means these guys should now move to engage them. Yes, indeed. We now host the Philippines as a government in exile with low legitimacy because they didn't really fight much. Fair enough. Uh, can I purge any Filipino infiltrators to get some political power? No. Do they have any... Do they have a navy? No. So we won't be requesting control of their navy. All right, you lads have moved over. We're now way overstacked here, probably because they were based in the Philippines. Uh, come down here. Get me some air superiority there. And then another 200. We can fit 200 here if the Americans would leave. But we can't bank on that. So let's move you guys down. Good. Where are you going to strike? Here? We already have the advantage in that fight. Go where you're needed. Like this fleet. Yeah, there's 28 ships there with six capitals. Ooh, I think there might have been two of them as well. Yeah, you don't, you're don't. you not needed in this fight. We're winning this anyway. Ooh, one of our cruisers took some nasty hits from torpedoes, though. Come on. Improved infantry HQ. Nice. That is a good get. Finally, time for Supreme HQ. More coordination, cheap promotion costs, all kinds of good stuff. And experience gain and divisions. I will spend to get that 50 days earlier. These guys are a little short on supply, but... Do they not have a current amount of fuel? Doesn't seem like it. 
And yeah, once again, we've won the won the battle before they have a chance to get involved. But now they're heading up. There it is, once again, the main... Well, that's not the main fleet. No, that doesn't have any carriers. Okay. They are now... No, they're contesting here. But they're not, not contesting it in the air, basically, at all. But my yeah, naval bombers are struggling with range. Yes, they have landed and are so far unsuccessfully trying to take this port. What I could really do with is a bit of more of a response force. Oh, you're actually in my... Right, okay. You hold there. You guys can be part of the response force I was just talking about. So you two... Are you going here? No, who, who are you? Who's that? Oh, that's Marines. Yeah, you two. Get down here. We need to uh, take that guy out. And then you... Add yourself to Batavia, because if Batavia fell, we'd really struggle uh, with holding that area. Okay, meanwhile over here, the situation hasn't changed because they're just fantastically slow. And our air superiority will be helping, no doubt. I'm glad they didn't land down by the airbase. Yeah, they are taking, taking some of these islands. Hopefully the Americans will be able to do a bit of the fight back here. Where's my strike force? Here it is. It's intercepting... Ah, right. The people supporting this uh, invasion, it looks like. There's their carrier force. <clears throat> we know where it is. I'd much rather you engage them. Oh, they've moved off. Where'd they go? Oh, here they are. Yeah, good luck. Good luck, little sub. He took out one of the convoys. <laughs> And yeah, holding that port for now with reinforcements inbound. Let's start redeploy them here. I'd really rather not lose that air base. Oh, hello. And some more people landing as well. Trying to. Landing with garrison divisions. That seems ill advised. And yeah, still holding Hong Kong, still being able to. Do some good work up here with the planes. And Eagle Squadron is battle ready. Which, again, I will just disband for the fighters in reserve. Okay, here they are. Where, where are they? Who are they chasing? These destroyers? You're not going to catch the destroyers. Well, you might if they move like that, actually. <laughs> Six hours. One hour? Yeah, I mean, they're going to get away from you. You need to take fights of people you're able to catch. I could also try and... I mean, the problem is, how do I go... And there's no convenient way to go through and take out the slower ships, really. You commanding only six task forces? Did I just lose an entire task force? No, I don't think I did. Where's that loss it's talking about? Losing some naval bombers, that's fine. New decision. Uh, da, 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 da. Operation Exporter. British bomber crew trying reconnaissance mission in central Syria. Spotted German and Italian aircraft. Ooh. I can declare war in Lebanon and the Kingdom of Syria. I don't really want to do that. They're colonies of, of Vichy France. I imagine this would kick out. No, I'm not concerned. If the, if the Germans try and put men down here, I'm going to be able to raid them to death and then easily hold, easily hold them off. So, no, I'm not interested in starting, starting a fight there. Don't need to do war propaganda. We might want to do a military parade in Baghdad for the uh, for the political capital it would gain us, though. Where's my where's my main task force gone? Here it is. Oh, we did catch them. Okay, nice. So we should be able to. Completely obliterate them, of course. <clears throat> there we go. Uh, it's raining. Less likely to hit them. And they can retreat faster. Come on, though. Should, we should really be able to obliterate them. Alright, where's their main forces? Here. It's a bit far from Malaya to be able to sally forth at them. 
Yeah, five dead destroyers. I think I'm going to focus on these 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 areas still. For now. Right. Escorts. I don't think I need to convoy escort. They don't seem to be convoy raiding much. What I could do is convoy raid with my escort ships, though. That'll screw with them. <laughs> Brazil requests membership. Sure. Nice. Supermarine Spitfire is a good get. And... I think the Hurricane Cast is the cast we were going to use. We should probably try and start inventing that. Or I could get... Is there any more industry I could really do with? Um, <clears throat> yeah, division attrition is important. Oh, but hang on. Can I get this? No. I mean, I can, but it's ahead of time. Let's get division attrition. And then let's yeah, switch straight over to the new carrier fighter. We've got 80 stuff available. I think it is worth putting some in. Agility. Yeah, I want them to survive. So let's just go with agility. Lower range is not a problem. Okay, now make sure we put the right one into obsolete. This one is the Norn, this one's the right one. Okay, so switch over from the Osprey to the Spitfire Carrier Fighter. Good. And that requires a bit more aluminium, but that's fine. And they should slowly be replaced. And we are full. We are plowing through our increased military factory counts good give me another round after that still okay on aircraft production capacity not amazing actually let's throw down uh, intersperse a couple of those in here since a lot of our new stuff is going to be going to planes okay main force still plenty organized where is it headed ah because we have this on a void that's part of what's been making them behave silly. Forget that. Moon to Nail Base Singapore. Why? We could, surely there's people we know about in this area. There actually aren't. It's like, but... Okay, there we go. I don't think you need to engage the subs. <laughs> and these guys, the escorts, they're in some fights, but since there are, I am detecting some Japanese subs here. Let's go and switch them to convoy escort. Where did they take a fight? Is it just with convoys? It is. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. And yeah, here's the main fleet. I could expand this fleet's purview. Wow, we instantly spotted all of them. Nice. New 7.2 inch. Which was, what, heavy artillery? Yeah. Give me the new light artillery as well. Switch over to the new heavy. Oh, man. Now is a great time to discover you can actually make variants of all these infantry equipments, isn't it? <laughs> I didn't know that. I didn't even see this. Or some of them are... Oh, you can't on all of them. But on a lot of them you can. <laughs> oh my god. We're like 20 hours in. Okay. Carriage upgrade. More reliability and soft attack. Wow, okay. That's a big deal. It takes a lot of army experience to do this. Ooh, some more piercing on them. But lower soft attack. Talent charge. Oh my god. Yeah, that is really going to take army XP to the limit. I agree. Well, some reliability on our heavy artillery is good because these do get hit by attrition a lot. But, yeah, I don't think that's worth it right now. Let's just switch over. <clears throat> Come on, kill them. If, they, if, if I lose a freaking destroyer to a spare, like a, a wild sub, but I'll be peeved. Hey, Americans, you ever thought of doing anything with your fleet here? Go after these guys. All right, yeah, there they go. I think uh, we want to confront the, them head on. So... Let's do that. I can't add this to the escorts. Ah, because we're escorting down here. Let's, let's get it. 
Go get that big fleet. I'm not afraid. Go hit some of their smaller fleets, bait the big fleet into, into coming after me. We shouldn't send the escorts in, though. That's I don't know why I did that. That's silly. <laughs> we don't need to keep them where we need them. That's fine. I guess that means basically you need to you need to exercise your whole army practically all the time if you want to really optimize that. Get some really customized infantry equipment. It also, of course, advantages people like Japan who are in wars sooner. So you can start getting all that all that army XP going. Oh, okay. There they are. They're moving you're you're moving to intercept them in the wrong direction. Yes, okay. Dominican Republic's been called in. Okay, few few battles going on. British Yeah, one of our scouting forces has engaged a Japanese fleet that it seem, feels the need to flee from because of their superior torpedo attack. Oh! But the American fleet is deployed. We could have a three-way, like a, like a two-directional sandwich on this guy. Where's he going? He's going east. Some more transport ships down there. Come on, get him. Get him. We have him targeted. Like We have him fully located. The Alpha Strike Force is moving to engage. Why are these two not engaged? They're coming over to both join this fight, perhaps? Seems that way. We don't appear to be gaining on him. My ships are not very fast. It should really tell you the speed of a fleet. But there we go. The big American ship, which fleet, which does include some very large carriers. Are they getting in there? Yes, they are. Okay, here it is. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um... Well, we're obviously going to go and try and help, but this is a this is a heck of a fight. We're also going to have yeah too many carrier ships is going to limit air wing capacity. Can I? Where are my naval bombers assigned here? Flying from? Oh, they haven't arrived yet. Okay. All right, you guys, get down here and fly there. Give me more air crews urgently. This is going to be a this could potentially be a very decisive battle. They're still damaged from our earlier engagement. There they are. Okay. <clears throat> Some of them are still trying to withdraw. Alright, so the American main fleet is massively weaker than my main fleet in terms of light and heavy gun count. Um, but in terms of this matchup, they're fairly even. But the Americans have way more planes. What does shark-infested waters do again? Casualties on sink plus 60. Right, okay. So we're going to be there in... How long? Ah, stop moving. In a day. Japanese are immediately trying to withdraw. They'll probably be out of there in a day. See how much damage we can do before they leave. Come on, Americans. Hit them. Hit them. Also, if they're trying to flee and they flee, you know, north, we should still have them spotted all the way up. Ooh, and simultaneously... Can I open multiple battles? No, I can't. But simultaneously, this is not a great fight for us. They are withdrawing, but we've taken a we've taken an improved cruiser hit there. Looks like it was one of the French ones, so it's not, at least it's not one of our advanced modern cruisers, but still. And yeah, they're fleeing really quickly. Those are some speedy carriers. It's night time, so they won't be flying as well. Some dings administered though. That's probably mostly damage from earlier. Ooh, six escorts sent to the bottom though. Come on, you guys. We need the extra firepower. Yeah, they're going to get away. Oh, it wasn't six. It was just one. It's just a graphical bug. Or maybe I misread it. Oh, come on. Take one of my escorts. Don't trade evenly in this fight. We had such a huge advantage. And chase them. Chase them the moment they break off. How did that fight go up here? Still going. Turning in our favor. They are retreating. The sub's showing up. It's giving us some extra torpedo attack. <clears throat> Where's my... Where are my naval bombers? Come on. Nearly here. Nearly here. <clears throat> we can hit them on the retreat with the naval bombers, potentially. At least took out one destroyer. <clears throat> it's one of the destroyers from their main fleet, so I have to imagine it's of superior quality. Reinforcements are here just as the battle ends. And the torpedo bombers, likewise. And there we go. Yeah. Not a great engagement. I wish, I mean, that's a good fight. 
Actually, we took out quite a few of their, their carrier fighters, which will worsen their experience. Where are you going? Moving to nearby Singapore? No. Find that fleet again. Where are, my, where are my scouts at? Find that fleet again. Immediately. I'm not making any progress on finding it again. Damn. Well, we've driven them out of this area, more or less. Got some found over here. And the end result of that, yeah, not great for us to lose a cruiser in that, but we forced them to disengage. This one looking better for us. Much more light guns. Better torpedo advantage. And we've completed that, so we've bypassed a bunch of those. Uh, and we can do the aircraft production group, giving us, yeah, fighter industrial capacity. Bunch of things down by 3%. Pretty nice. You guys, yep, yeah, are being sallied forth. Yeah, get these guys. Don't flee, said little sub. Just stay hidden. You don't even have to launch your torpedoes. Just stay hidden long enough for us to find them. Alright, come on. Driving them off. They're losing They're losing uh, organization. We're not. Good. Uh, meanwhile. Is that a defense? It is. Yes. Come on, China. Push them back. That would be glorious. And we're going north. Just hold them in place. Hold them in place so we can just roam around with our big stack. Absolutely smacking their... Uh, their little fleets. Oh, see, here's another one. No, okay, please join that one. Please join that one and not this one with the one sub. Please join this one. Because there's their freaking battleship. Get that battleship. Please. Two hours. Come on. Okay, also. Air, air wings. Divert. 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 Where are my extra fighters? Get them over here. Do not allow them to... To fly a single thing. Yes, they joined the right one. Okay. Ho, ho. Prepare to be scared. Fly these guys in initially. Nice. Doing a bit of damage. Yeah. Tiny bits. And look at that. Immediate. Immediate take flight. Hit them. Hit this capital ship. Have they got their... There's the Mutsu... I don't see their really big capital ships here yet. First escort bites the dust. We're taking some dings, but none, none too dramatic. And mostly just on the escorts that were here earlier. Nice. Cruiser down. Excellent. Okay, now meanwhile, down here, our reactive force has arrived. Should be able to push them out. What was that? Sundra Islands again? Okay, but we've beefed up the defenses there, so I'm hopeful that we can we can hold still. Uh, yeah, good. And this is obviously a bunch of victories, just some transport ships. Nice. Heavy cruiser to the bottom. It's an old one, but still. Oh, it looks like this uh, battleship... Pretty slow. Battle cruiser going down. Nice. Battle cruiser down. And this guy, he's too slow. Once we focus fire him, another heavy cruiser down. And the battleship. Tell me we got the battleship as well. No! I can't cycle through. Uh, I don't know why it's not letting me cycle through these. Maybe it's that I have to be here and then. No. Okay, we can't see the actual thing. But we lost one naval bomber. They lost a battleship, heavy cruiser. <laughs> that is a that is quite a battle report. <laughs> nice good victory it was what five five Japanese capital ships destroyed in that battle and we didn't uh, we've barely taken a scratch there's a heavy cruiser here which I'm gonna split off for repairs and a Neptune but apart from that barely damaged absolute Thing of beauty. Now, if you could head straight up here and fight this heavy cruiser fleet now, instead of... Oh, no, we found the carriers again. Okay. Yep, that's fine. Do, 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 by all means, go after the carrier fleet at best speed. Eight hours. They're just static there. Six hours. Eight hours. No, they're getting away. Um, 
Okay, they're going to push to here, at which point we should be able to throw them straight back. Across the river, at least. And then, uh, let's try here, because they're in low org. Yeah, okay, do that. You, well, I'll still try and push them out of here, but I, want, I need to open the other angle on this. Where are they going? Nice, some successful, uh, successful hits from the transports. Anything else? New decision. What's this? Yugoslavian infiltrators. Yes, please. By all means. Now, you lads have been booted out of an air force by an island falling, I guess. Let's have you, uh, let's have you flying here. And also... You guys, let's have you trying to hit that that fleet. This one, not going to go in our favor. I would like to reinforce in with the main fleet, but they are busy down here. But we've caught them. Okay. Oh, look at this. The mauled remains of the Japanese Navy. Oh, you better start retreating immediately. They're not retreating? Are you stupid? Is it because they're low organization it takes them longer to make such decisions? They're not retreating? Well, I mean, that's a tiny bit intimidating, but we have you, like, more than 10 to 1 on guns. And 3 to 1 on torpedoes. So, that seems very foolish. This is forwards and archipelagos, so... We're, uh... We're less effective. Our, uh, our big ships are, are gonna struggle here, but... Okay, now most of them are retreating. But that seems very foolish. He took a hit there with Chad suggesting their uh, the Admiral took a bit of a hit to the head last battle. He doesn't know what's going on. This is why he's not issuing the retreat order. It's, it's plausible. Cunningham is absolutely absolutely bossing it. This fleet. He he he's he's been responsible for taking out the entire Italian fleet and now he's doing great work against the Japanese as well. We might win the war in the east long before we win the war in the west. It's pretty, it's looking likely, honestly, at this point. Because I don't know how the hell I can take out Germany without um, subs, without um, like massively overhauling our military. But I think we could probably take out the Japanese if we could completely cut them off and, you know, we'd be trapping a huge portion of their army in China. If we can take out the Japanese navy you know, they're, they're, they're doomed because China will just roll and smoke their army in, you know, in China if we can cut them off from supply. All right, the battle rages on. Yeah, they're trying to retreat and they're going to succeed with some of them. Oh, the Americans have shown up late to the party as usual. Come on, get one of some more of these heavy cruisers. They've got to be, they've got to be uh, on fire or something. Gotta have taken some criticals. No criticals on this guy yet. He's going down though. No! It keeps not letting me see the, the actual naval battle I want. Can I right click to dismiss all? But how about if I wanted to just dismiss one? Anyway, that time we lost quite a few more carrier fighters and carrier bombers and stuff, but heavy cruiser, nine destroyers, and an escort. That's a good it's a good fight. It's a good fight right there. Now get them up here. This fleet is ripe for the picking. They've got very high, very decent torpedo attack. Oh, we just caught them again. Oh, you poor, poor bastards. Give me that heavy cruiser. 30% strength, 4% organization. Parmalet. And the Americans are here. We're not going to be able to fly many of our wings. Yeah, air traffic limited to 70%. It's also getting a bit late in the day. So, but yeah, there goes the heavy cruiser. And they're not screened anymore, which means they're... Oh, their fleet carriers are vulnerable. Their fleet carriers are vulnerable. Get them. Sick them. Sick them. <laughs> Exquisite. We are still running low on fuel. We are running a huge number of, uh, of, of ships right now. I think I do need to uh, quite dramatically increase our imports from the US to try and stabilize the fuel situation. Come on, sick them. They're trying to retreat. Don't let them. Target the CVs. This makes me want to play World of Warships. <laughs> little little hunter-killer destroyers keeping everyone spotted and torpedoing CVs. Let's go! 
an advanced carrier and an interwar carrier hit the ocean floor. Oh man. And their, uh, I think that's a light cruiser conversion. Hell yeah. Their carrier managed to do 40% damage to one. And their destroyer managed to get a hit on the others, but nothing else apart from that. Look at that. Sunk by HMS London. USS California got that one. HMS Renown got that one. Beautiful. Beautiful. Should just take a look here, though. Anyone badly damaged? Yeah, Thanet. Go, go ahead and repair. That's fine. Uh, no one else took any very significant hits. There's a lot of them here now. <clears throat> That's a major fleet. That's a major fleet. And there is their... The pride of their fleet, which is a... And there's the Yamato, in fact. Oh, we lost a heavy cruiser? How did I lose a heavy cruiser? I didn't, I didn't think I had any... Oh, no! Was he the guy we split off? I think he was. I split him off to repair because I thought we'd sent their main fleet packing, and then he got caught. Outrage. Outrage. We're heading north to intercept, though. Oh, no, we're actually heading up here to intercept. Damn! Damn, HMS Exeter, that was entirely my mistake. Oh, no, wait, he was in a different army. He wasn't being commanded by Cunningham. So where, where did he come from? Who was that commander? It was this commander. Was he in one of the submarine fleets for some reason? I'm not quite sure what happened there. That's that's the subject for a public inquiry in 30 years, like how the hell that happened. Yeah, plenty of raiding happening up here. Because, yeah, I mean, if we can raid the East China and the South China Sea... They're screwed, right? They're not going to be able to... They're going to lose ground in in China if we can do that. They already look like they might be. Meanwhile, in the naval invasions... Time to kick you off this island. Looking okay everywhere else. Apart from here. Yeah, and there's still not much I can do about that. Let's just yeah walk them back in. And see if we can hold it the second time around. American Navy is obviously helping... Where is their big navy? It was around here a second ago. Spot it again. I want to hit it with my strike force. Oh, yeah, go for these guys. You don't go, don't go after these titchy little destroyers. They've, they've already fled the battle. Go after this. Go after the heavy cruiser. Cunningham, you muppet. We're fleeing before it, unsurprisingly. Cunningham. <laughs> what are you doing, man? Moving to naval base? Why? There's a fight right here. Two heavy cruisers. That's silly. What are you doing? All of my scouts are having to go home to repair. And they're repairing in Dutch ports. So, well, some of them have gone, home, gone up to Hong Kong to repair. I think we do... Maximum mission accounts reached. Um, okay, I guess we're not. We don't need to be active in the Singapore Strait. They're not. They're not actually fighting us there. We'll fight them up north too. These guys do have a little bit of reorganization to do, and I need to. I need to annex British Malaya so we can so we can repair in these ports, which we can do. We're just saving up the political power to be able to do it, and it is a bit of a waste to spend all this political power, but. Because we can get them without it. Nice. We've sent them packing here. Just follow straight on into the port if you can. You can keep them busy there. Good. Over here. Yes, they're going to get got. Um, where's my... Are you guys still heading back to Singapore? There are so many fights for you to get involved in, though. I think it's because it's not their scouts that are spotting the fights that that's not happening. We need some more... Scouting forces. I've got some French destroyers sitting in the med. Let's bring them over. Let's have them in, in Singapore. Oh, I turn this off as a place you're allowed to repair. No, don't do that. Alright. You've docked up again? Yeah. While they're docked, we should probably have them repair. The thing is, as soon as they spot something they're willing to sally forth at, yeah, there we go, I want them to. 
They're not going to get there in time. This sub is going to get clear. Oh, but there's other ships incoming. Unknown ships are approaching. Yeah, look at this. We have one active scout force right now. All the rest are, are repairing. Or on the way to repair. Repairing at Christmas Island. Oh, that's mine, right? Oh, yeah, but there's only one naval base there. So we can't repair very quickly. Sallying forth. We have total naval supremacy. Although apparently they have some presence in the Straits of Malacca. It's probably just subs, if I had to guess. Yeah, pretty good naval supremacy. I'm, I'm torn up about that. Uh, structure works, nice. I'm torn up about that um, lost heavy cruiser. That was almost certainly just a complete butterfingers on my part. Yeah, to production efficiency retention and railway construction speed. Yes, please. Speaking of railway construction speed. Got planned. Plan that attack here. Yes, they have the planning bonus. Okay. Launch it. And this is where we should launch it from because that's where at least some of our troops are not having to cross the river. There we go. And we've got room for, for two more. They're just in, in Indian infantry, these guys. Not the, not the highest tech. Um, heavy artillery and stuff, but should be able to do something. Oh, yeah, heavy cruisers down here. Attacking my convoys. My escorts. We're going to hit them from the sky a bit, though. Okay. It's really struggling to kick them out here. Hold for a second and just win this defense. Oh, yeah, it's annoying when that happens. Move and then hold. No? We're going to have to wait for these guys to lose before we can attack them. Fine, just attack them then. More advanced radar. Excellent. Another thing we could put in Malaya if we had annexed them. Now... Yeah, air accidents and night, oper night operations penalty especially will be useful. But yeah, we got... Oh, nice. We actually managed to take out a cruiser with our escorts plus... Um, you... I wish... Is there a way to say, like, hey, guys... Engage at medium risk. No, engage at high risk. I'll tell you if your engagement is too risky. Now they're going in. Okay. Get them. We can beat this fleet. And this is the Yamato, right? Yeah. The Yamato is it's an absolute monster. But they're only just screened effectively. So if we can just knock out a couple of these destroyers, we'll be in a great spot. Plus, they're disorganized. The heavy cruiser is already damaged. Our subs are sending a couple of brave torpedoes off. Just hold them there for a second longer. And this is the first time we've engaged the pride of the Japanese Navy. The Yamato is the one I'm more worried about, though. This advanced capital ship with massive guns. But it does not have the fleet backing, up it, backing it up that it should. Notably, a complete absence of carriers. So... They're in this sea zone, aren't they? Yeah, they're out of the range of my naval bombers, sadly. Okay. Deploy, deploy, deploy. And we're in. Okay. Hit them. Hit them for everything we got. Okay. Instantly, some of our guys taking some hits. Unsurprisingly. Torpedoes. We'll hit you. Oh, no, he was just damaged on arrival. Okay. But we're giving them pretty good stuff. Heavy guns already doing some damage to their uh, the heavy cruisers. The problem is that these... Yeah, I mean, look at this. He's at 70... He's taken 75 damage by heavy guns, and he's still at practically full health. Then again, our capital ships not taking a scratch yet. Knock out a couple of these guys, and then just ram some torpedoes through. We've got the 20 classes in here, right? Yeah, some of these are 20 classes, so we've got, we got a lot of torpedo attack ready. The positioning is obviously hurting us. We're doing, yeah, 60% less attack because we've just got way too many ships in this fleet. But I think that's worth it. I mean, that might not be worth it, actually, now I think about it. Minus 60% attack. That practically evens us up on attack. But still seems to be showing... Ooh, dude, get out of there. HMS Cavendish just took a massive hit from heavy guns. Good. He's getting out of there, but I don't think I like your odds, Cavendish. 
We'll see. Screening is improving a tiny bit. Sorry, uh, positioning is improving a tiny bit. Does positioning improve with time? Why can't I, why can't I hover with screening? There we are. Sorry, positioning, not screening. Larger fleet, cunning on. No, I think it's just improving as we, uh, well, I don't know. Why is it improving? Larger fleet. None of these seems like things that would change over time. Hmm. Anyway, two heavy cruisers down. And we've done some serious damage. Ooh, yeah, look at that. 58% strength now on some of those. That's going to take them a long time to repair. A long time indeed. And most of the damage did come from our heavy guns. Get seen off, Japanese. This is what we think to upstart imperial powers. Trying, We are the... Uh, we're the only imperial power in these parts. <laughs> and we intend to keep it that way. Excellent. That. Oh, okay, okay. Close this fight first so I can actually see the uh, the breakdown that was a loss in their estimation no it just even though I closed the old ones it still won't let me okay still that was uh oh no it just didn't generate a battle report or it somehow closed the battle report before it started that's weird you guys intercepting another one who's down here relatively small one Let's split off, well, let's get, let them get south and then split off some guys to repair. But we'll split them off in a group because we need to get, use the naval screen reports. Uh, you mean these ones? Yeah, good idea. So where was this? The Celeb C. Oh, you mean clicking on this? It cycles through them like that, but it doesn't uh, It doesn't let me then click on them. Below the missions as well. Below the missions. I'm not sure I know what you mean. Below the missions. You mean like here? These are the missions. Oh, you mean here? Okay. Ah, that's how you can cycle through them. Why can't I cycle through them clicking on the map? I got it. Thank you. I really appreciate that, Creeper. We've already closed it, sadly. So, and I can't close them from here. Oh, well. Good stuff going on over here. Just loses some escorts. It's a bug. Yeah, fair enough. Thank you, though. I appreciate the, uh, the intel. They are pushing there. How's this push going? <clears throat> Looks like it may work. Ooh, and they have left themselves out of position in the center as well. I'm attacking here because one of them is at such low strength. Uh, I think that was the yeah Japanese naval infiltration completed. Good. Opposition biting. It appears the enemy is ahead of us in the development of radar. I don't think you're right. We could acquire more intelligence. 300 days. They're not ahead of us on radar. We have we have like the most advanced radar it's practically possible to have. Um, yeah, sabotage. S kill an enemy commander. <laughs> oh no, it just uh, wounds him and might get him, might kill him. That's okay. We don't want to do that. Keep uh, yeah, keep them. We got them at 100. percent Could spy on their mainland holdings. Oh yeah, we got one here already. Let's add another there. And then also spy over here. Give me some, give me a network over here. Okay. Um, right, no, 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 we're saving up to Annex Malaya. That's the next thing for political power. Okay, so they've retreated to the port and are so far managing to hold position there. Let's uh, let's move men so that we can attack them from not across a river. And yes, if we can encircle these guys and encircle the port in, in the same time, that'd be great. Improved submarine tactics. Love to see that. There aren't many upgrades I need. I want to make to my ships, really. I mean, better torpedoes would be nice. 
but maybe we should just focus on doctrine because you know new stuff is good but doctrine affects all our existing ships so just naval air attack and screen attack across the board naval hit chance up across the board yeah I mean this is more sensible isn't it oh that's ahead of time though don't need more range my carriers aren't the things doing the main work. We're not really using mines. Uh, where can I do this? Have to be trade interdiction, right? Torpedoes, submarine attack, submarine speed when retreating. No, I don't think I do need that actually. So maybe we do get. What would it be next? It is 42 now, so you could get even better depth charges. That's not where I'm really finding myself struggling though. So probably, yeah, inventing the better torpedoes seems like the next thing we'd want to retrofit onto our ships. Heading out. Got another small Japanese force to engage. We're just not fast enough, though. Ooh, found another cruiser. Uh, I mean, CV fleet. You're going the wrong way. Go this way to engage them, because they're going that way. One exiled division from the Philippines has arrived in East Anglia to fight by your side. Holy crap, the Americans are all over the shop. Um, the Filipino division, where am I going to send you? Sure, go... <laughs> go join the fight for the Balkans. Why not? <laughs> uh, yeah, they're trying and failing to push up the, the Aust Aussies are. Look like we're going to be able to move straight past them here. It's probably going to take a very long time to cross the river, though. Yeah. Okay. Where's that big fleet? Hey, managed to hit it from the air. It's a very low organization. The Iran problem. Just continually demand the expel. But it's just that, that vent might be bugged. All right, so with the Vickers Wellington done, we can now do this ahead of time. But I don't think I want to. Instead, give me that agility. Good. Okay. Do -do. Easy win there. Main fleet, are we catching up with them? Where have they gone? Oh, we've lost sight of them. Looks like they, they slipped into the Far Eastern Ocean. Damn. So if Hungary is decrypted... Good. Oh, we need to re-decrypt re Germany. Let's, since we're having to re-decrypt Germany all the time. No, oh, I can't get this because I need decryption for each other. We should research the text to get that a bit better. Hello, goat. Right, where is my... Where is my main fleet? Here. Okay, just spotted titchy little fleet. Although it's being reinforced by something. Not much, though. Five hours to arrive. Good stuff. Um, once again, making headway here. Should probably try and get some planes helping out there. Like, you guys are not really doing much there, are you? Let's fly you up here. And yeah, there's no, there's no one really there to hit with these naval bombers, so let's bring them here. Then I must have another 100 fighters to deploy by now. No? Feels like it's been ages, but I guess not. Let's deploy all these naval bombers with some French troops and then just raise the limit. We can have them top off as they arrive. Okay. And yeah, if they push in here, that's fine because they're... I don't think they're going to be... They're going to have truly terrible um, supply. So I don't think they would want to. Okay. Active fights. Oops. That's not a great one. Yep. Okay. Now we're holding the port. Good. Yep. Coming in here. Just go over there. We'll try and hit them from this side. Yep, held the port successfully. So these guys are now slowly just going to run out of supply and not be able to do anything. Ooh, they are able to take Port Mosby, though. Really? 
With this much defense, they're able to win that? That seems surprising. Um, I guess I weaken my Australian defenses a bit. Send some more up here. Oh, there's two ports here I didn't even spot. Should garrison them as well. Or are you in... No, you're in that one. Sorry. That's the right tile for that one. This is normal. I am right about that, right? Yeah, it's that port with the, that tower with the port. Good. Do do do. All right, you guys. Oh, there they are again. Cunningham's gained experience. Hell yeah, main man Cunningham. Look at this guy. He's rules. All right, here we are again. Oh no, this is a new fleet. We haven't fought these guys before. Because they're not damaged. Or maybe this is the first one we fought, actually. Oh, oh, oh. Very disorganized. Very disorganized carriers. Taking some nice hits. Oh, baby, watch them burn. Look at that. Holy crap. That was an absolute decimation. It's nighttime and a storm now, so the rest might get away. But I don't think... Did none of them survive? No way. I think that might be all of them. That might be the whole fleet. Holy hell. Wow. That. That is impressive. Three three carriers, three light carriers. Have, how many carriers have you got left, Japan? They're doing a non-aggression pact with the Soviets. <laughs> They have no carriers left. <laughs> wow. It took one and a half months. And the Japanese have no carriers. Wow. Uh, let's take these guys off strike for us for a second. Yeah, come back to Singapore. Cunningham is glorious. I'm going to split this strike force in half. That's actually where I'm at right now. Wow, we caught them again. A single capital ship. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> I mean, I did that earlier as well, but... That might have been the last Japanese capital ship. No, they've got uh, four, four big capital ships left and 13 heavy cruisers still. But that is, I mean... Oh, wow, we have so much intel on them now. We're 100% naval intel, holy hell. We can actually see where they have all of their uh, guys deployed. They've got one strike force in this whole area. <laughs> and they're, uh, they're actively in this area. And they have a bunch of people on convoy escort, a bunch of people on convoy raiding. <laughs> and I can also see their supply lines and that they are being absolutely destroyed <laughs> nice yeah i'm gonna split my i'm gonna split my naval task force in half because it's too big now uh we don't need it to be this large and if we split it in half we can have it hit twice as many japanese fleets at once so that's what i'm gonna do now the reserve do I want to call anything up from the reserve in order to back up this newly divided strike force? I don't think I do, honestly. I don't think we need to. Those guys think they have no orders, but they do. They're on carriers. Those are their orders. Guy in Hong Kong, losing some organization. Probably because we're not successfully getting supply to him. Yeah, that's uh, kind of to be expected. Man, I'm really pleased with how our Navy has done. Really very pleased. Seven destroyers. Oh, obliterating them. All right. All right, main fleet. Uh, firstly, where are my, uh, my split-off repair lads? Wasn't that you? Yeah, let's, uh, let's be having you in the fleet. And you guys, no, you're just subs. You can actually be another, another sub-fleet. And this reserve is not even here, is it? No. Um... 
You guys are repairing, but most of them are back into the action. So, Alpha Strike. I'm just going to clean, split it in half, I think. Wait, hang on, first. No, yeah, clean, split it in half. New Strike Force. You've got the East Indies. We'll call this the, the Pacific Fleet. Okay. Yeah, they got two carriers. Though actually, yeah, let's bring up bring up a couple bring up a couple of the battleships. And the some of these cruisers from the reserve. Meanwhile in training, have I got any yeah, some new cruisers. And a bunch of new destroyers. Love to see it. Bring them up. Bring them over. Now, meanwhile, over here, by the way, I haven't been paying almost any attention. Our guys are in very bad supply. Okay. We need to move some of the motorized back. Uh, further back than that, apparently. Get out of there. We did take the nicer, nicer front line, though. Just get get some men off the front so that we can use the supply more effectively. Ooh, and they're fighting us in the air. Whoa, way harder now. Okay. Uh, I got any more trained fighters? Yes, indeed. Let's get them in there. Also, let's run run one of these guys from here. That's a much larger portion of the German Air Force. And how's it going in the Soviets? Yeah, still stalled for the last month, more or less. But how we how we trade in here? Badly. Badly is how we're trading. Okay, no, if they're if they're committing their whole air force here, let's call it off. We might lose ground here, but that was that was always expected as part of the uh, part of what would happen there. One of you can as well. We'd love to get, love to pocket these guys on the front. Okay, so back over here, we've got you lads who should still be on strike force, but right now you're repairing. Yes, yeah, so I wanted to check if we were to send you to here. How much could you repair there? And then you guys, not that badly damaged, but let's let's have you. Let's have you come back here and repair. So take take damage seriously. Don't, uh, you know... Oh, crap. That's not what I meant to do. Um, well, I guess I just split it in half again. So one specific, um, the, one, the one with the hood, it's the better one, is the East Indies fleet. Okay. Right, so East Indies. Go over here. You guys, go over here. I want to see how many of the Dutch East Indies, how much we can repair with the Dutch East Indies stuff. So now we need this, which needs only one of the following. So I think the, which of these am I realistically going to use? None of them, I feel like. Let's just go heavy fighter then. All right, air wings not doing anything. Right, you lads. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not prepared to fight the whole uh, Axis Air Force right now. I think that's uh, Burmese Emperor declared war on Burma. Uh, that's not great. Okay. Well, these guys are suddenly terribly out of supply. I'd really like it if I could take this and then immediately capitulate you. Such that I could re-establish those supply lines. Because that's, you know, that's going to cut my railway connection. Is there no, wait, there's no railway connection between here and here? Ah, no, because it's through this province. Right. But we are, it looks like, going to be able to take this and immediately capitulate them. So, are they in the Japanese faction? Yes. So we will have some resistance in this province. Although, it's a core of Burma. So as long as Burma keeps it, there shouldn't be resistance. Glad I had these men behind the lines ready to 
deal with little situations like that. Let's have a, let's start, yeah, let's try and foster good relations with China, because I want them to give me docking rights. Message from the United States. Tighter collaboration between those who ha have the capability to hinder the Empire of Japan. Chiang Kai-shek is also invited. Uh, yeah, sure. Don't know what that is, but we're welcome. We're always welcome to talk. The terms. More participants have arrived and discussions have started. The following terms have been presented awaiting approval. The Republic of China will get 500 political power. They will be unable to sign a separate peace with the Empire of Japan. When the Empire of Japan capitulates, they'll become the owner of all Japanese-occupied core territories. We lose 50 political power, I think. 25% research bonus for ships. The United States also uses 50. 100% British... We get some transport ships. Seems acceptable. I didn't actually lose the political power. Oh, now I did. I lost more than it said I would. Okay. The Cairo conference. Uh, the same deal? Ah, no. It's a slightly different deal. Okay. Down with the Japanese dogs. Cool. We lost 150 political power when it said I would lose 50. So I'm a little peeved about that, but... Oh, well. Uh, right, where are my navies? They've arrived already? Okay, how many of them are repairing? Detach the moon to repair in Christmas Island. No, Christmas Island is not going to work. You're not able to repair here? No, okay. Uh, well, in that case, let's have them head... West Bengal to repair. And there's the new Spitfire. And supply transportation. I think I'm not going to move to the new Spitfire because of the production efficiency costs. I think I'm going to go straight onto the next one and then move to that. I also don't have the air experience to make a more modernized Spitfire. Alright, supply transportation uh, is pretty good tech. Dockyard repair speed would be nice. As would road network. As with modern highways, I think dockyards, even with us pretty decisively winning uh, at sea right now, I would still like that. Military factories. Um, again, I think even though we're doing pretty well at sea right now, some more. We have a lot of upgrades to do on carriers. Give me some more on that. Although actually we can only really afford one more on that after that because of the air production capacity limits. <clears throat> Using t 11 factories for repairs right now. Sorry, dockyards. It's worth it though. Okay. So in terms of the islands, we've got just Borneo and Papua New Guinea that are major islands actively contested. I think we're not going to be able to cross there, are we? So I think you need to, to pull back to the port to invade a invasion, avoid an invasion landing behind you. It's unfortunate they got that air base. New decision. Ship parts and supplies to the Soviets. I thought we'd already done that. Oh, it's only for 45 days. No, then I'm not doing that every 45 days. Sorry, Soviets. Let's get the guys to assist on the attack on the port. Then we can have them cycle south. Another decision. Yugoslav infiltrators, my favorite decision. <laughs> there they go. Okay. Now, you guys, you're on the way up there to repair. You're doing okay repairing here. You've got a few more people could do with repairs. So let's split this task force in half. Send some of them over here. Because we can repair yeah, a few here and a few here at the same time. Good. Ah, no, because this is India. And they probably don't have many dockyards assigned to repair. They only have three dockyards flat. Okay, never mind. Just, uh, just go merge back in then. Imperial Burma has capitulated. Good news. Good news indeed. You lads head back to... Or rather, get reassigned to your original front line. Good. Okay. And we are making agonizingly slow progress here. This is actually... Yeah, no, this is silly. Stop doing that. Just fall back. 
Be smart. Naval invade. You three light infantry. Now we've won that. Actually, let's use this Indian cavalry. I'd like to make a play for Bangkok. I'm going to do it the relatively safe way, which is to just have them try to go directly onto Bangkok rather than land next to it. I think that's safer in terms of uh, making it less likely that they land and then all die. Right, so these guys won't actually be able to repair very effectively up here. You guys are getting there on repairs now. But yeah, you're going you're to be repair, able to repair one at, one at a time there. Um, in that case, here is actually a better second repair spot. Darn, annoying about that um, political power we had to lose for that negotiation with China. I'd have much rather have had that. Um, let's just look here. Any one major loss. Ooh, that one. That is actually a fairly major loss. We lost... Oh, no, just an escort. I was misreading it. It was a major loss for them. Ha ha. <laughs> right, all the others are wins, so I don't think I need to read them all. Transport ships, destroyers, transport ships. Glorious. Uh, meanwhile, on these, just one raid we lost. Let's close them just so we can more easily detect where they're at. Some escorts fleeing before the Japanese there. Okay, you lads, you repaired up enough yet? No, you're the ones moving. Very nearly repaired enough now. The repulse is done. The repulse, I think that's the one that the Japanese sunk right at the beginning of the war. Just the, this one now. So let's detach that. Cancel the repair task, detach that. Go back to Singapore. And you are indeed, once again, on strike force. But based out of Singapore. Good. Now you guys should split in half. And we'll send half of you into the other side of the Ceylon port so we can get uh, eight repairs happening at once. Good. Now fuel we've once again stabilized, though with a pretty heavy cost in civilian goods having to go over to um, the old US of A. Now I yeah, don't need fuel capacity. Excavation could be good. Entrenchment speed is good too. Um, hmm. What would I most like? It is March now, so it's not unthinkable that we should go for one of these. 50% retention or 30% growth. Wow, those are both really good. Or just construction. To get 2% build on everything. I think supply range or gloss while moving is pretty good. Yeah, let's nab that. Good. So now this is the one that's moving in and is back on strike force. Right. You've got quite a few to repair yet. We did take some hits. We did we were pretty lucky that those hits tended to be fairly spread out. We didn't take as many kind of concentrated hits as we could have done. Yes, the smart way to attack them here is not to uh attack them up here. It's to naval invade and secure Bangkok. And then each of these up to Hanoi. Because if we can do that, then they're doomed. We'd, we'd be able to take the whole, whole peninsula off them. And they're not going to be able to naval invade me. So the need for these guys to stay here is, is diminished. We do, do need to keep working on landing craft though. And have my marines arrived? Yes, excellent. Well, they can lead the charge to Bangkok. Maybe they can go to Saigon. It's quite hard to assign the same people. So you can only have... I only have capacity for four naval invasions right now. Is that right? It's not under naval. Yeah, just four. Okay, so those cavalry... Let's get four of them. 
bring them down here. And then two of them will have them go from here and land next to Bangkok, which is risky. But at the end of the day, they're, they're relatively cheap divisions. So I'm not too concerned. Why are we mobilizing? What's just changed on that? Ah, yes, housing four. A new spy, huh? Natural orator, escape artist. I feel like seducers are just the way to go, usually. Get me some spying and Siam as well. Because giving us the extra reconnaissance and stuff is pretty nice. Okay, so first fleet's arrived. Good. The East Pacific fleet is back. One ship is repairing. The rest are ready to go. We will let them reorg though before I uh, before I launch them into the fire. You guys are only two repairing still. Which side are you? The wrong side for that. Okay, you guys change places. Okay, good. Still a couple of destroyers giving my subs trouble. Alright, a bunch of new oh no, these are old. Gimme the give me those subs though. And yeah, not much action. Not much action up here these days. German fleet is uh staying in port. No intel on that. Need thirty percent. Am I not spying I am still spying on the Germans, but we've just not got enough people doing it. Let's put I forget how this works. Like, do I need to get a certain amount of coverage on a certain amount of the country to get higher on all these guys? I think that is something like that, right? Let's see. Hmm, no, it's still stable. What if I sent you also to Randevoe? See if that lets it go higher. Okay, you guys beginning to reorg. Oh, good. Mediterranean, some of you guys without orders. Ah, yes. The ones that were replaced. So you are just kind of fully spare. You can actually go home. So what do I what do I want infantry to do? Hmm. Could invade Iran. But they're still giving us their royals, so. It'd be a pain to supply an invasion of Iran. Uh, should consider. They are doing continue the fight now. Free French Navy. Yep, sorry about that. <laughs> France fights back is January. So we should be ready about going back over there. Um, yeah, all these unassigned guys. Let's bring them into a new army, first off. Yeah, these two garrison armies working in parallel. We have these guys ready. Shouldn't be that deep in the desert because you're just taking attrition for no reason. Um, you lads. Ah, yes, the Canadians. I forgot about them. We should... Let's send them across to Australia, but they need to take a safe route. So let's send them to the Falcons first, and then they'll go from there. And we'll go we'll go like way through the Roaring Forties, like below practically below the southern southern half of the map. Okay. You guys reorged enough. Back on strike force, please. Orders. Meanwhile, you guys still repairing you mostly repaired. Right. Uh, resources. Still short. More aluminium. Looking forward to having aluminium in our own lands from having <clears throat> re-annexed people. Now. Um, Marines. Not in position. Because they're struggling on supply still. Why am I struggling with supply here so much? Is it Have I done something dumb? Like... Is it because something's banned or discouraged? You know what else we could try? Just let people in the Bay of... Let 
Let our navies go into the Bay of Biscay. Let's see if it causes a problem. Let's see if they get raided. Because right now, I mean, they don't seem to be. But like my supply getting here. To get here, the bottleneck is... What? And there isn't a bottleneck because it's not hitting the... It's not hitting the cap. So it's just, it should be fine. Not really following why these guys are so short on supply then. Hmm. Ho hum. And the cavalry will probably need manually ordering there too. So where are you supposed to be? Like you're, you're assigned to some other order, but not on it because you're worried about the supplies when you arrive. Hmm. I don't know. Anyway, let's uh, drive these guys out. Yeah, holding them in multiple combats seems good. Miles Dempsey falls ill. Unlucky for Miles. You hold the port. Meanwhile, in the east, still holding the port. They're still getting weaker. They're in the mountains, though. Ah, good. The US is heading over to hold this tile. Okay. You're building up. Good. Henry Harwood gains experience. Nice. He's my uh, my raider, isn't he? Yeah. Should probably give him some traits. Seasoned sea wolf. And a veteran sea wolf. And a silent hunter. Brilliant. The submarines over against the uh, Germans are not finding anything to kill. So... Bring them to the east, where there will be no shortage of things for them to kill. I'll leave the, uh, the torpedo boat hunter killers having uh, having their fun over there. Good. Okay, looks like the Japanese have learnt their lesson and are not deploying what measly parts of their fleet remain over here. Based on my intel, they do not have anyone on strike force, so I guess these guys are repairing. They do still have one Yamato class surviving, but if it's not able to do much, it's not a problem. There's Bristol's heavy fighter, so I can get Beavebrook, and then I think we just said we don't want any of these. Well, air experience game would be good, would be good, but yeah, get Beavebrook in there. Nice, just going to bring us to six percent reduction. So you are low on supply. Supply status is dropping. Hmm. Maybe I need I need to go and like read about how supply works because the way I see it, this says twelve of twenty. It's limited by capital eighteen of to eighteen point five. It's getting supply from hubs of a bunch. Divisions will consume provincial supply to place on their supply weight. If their stored supply is above the supply ratio provided by their location, they will consume their internal store until stored supply is at the same level as the local supply. Okay. The supply remaining in this province is 22. And the supply that this unit has is what? Supplies demanded, 5. Supplies got, 3.2. Is that at least rising? Like it's all, it's all fully motorized. They're in the province. There's enough supplies. I'm not being convoy raided. I do not follow why they're not getting supplied. Now, um, in other news, you guys are moving over, aren't you? Yeah, good. In other news, I need someone yeah, like you. Sorry, just going to deny you your kill there. Cancel your orders for a second. I want you to come and scout Bangkok. You're going to send a small, small Dutch submarine to try and spy on Bangkok. Ooh, I think I just saw. Go back to the, what, what, what note was I just on? There are four ships awaiting repairs right there right now. Okay, interesting. Do I have range on them? I think I do. 
Blow them up. Doesn't supply flow from the local capital. Yeah, Singapore. And Singapore has a good connection to here. It has this, this railway. Do I need to... Yeah, maybe that is something to do with that. So I, if this supply hub, maybe it's just that if this supply hub were mine, it would have 20 supply, but it isn't. It's Malaysia's or Malay, or whatever, um, British Malay, British Malays. I'm not sure. I'm just not sure. Yes, there is a capital ship in there. Okay, good. Keep hitting them. Give me some air cover as well. I've never messed with these settings, like, or barely ever. Should I set it to... How do you change these again? Here, yeah, like, just fly in the day. You're not going to hit anything at night. So hit them, hit them in the day. Oh, and we've also got a heavy cruiser and a destroyer just here as well. Nice. Right, keep going and scouting. I want to know what's in Bangkok. Oh, and they are fighting me in the air. Uh, no, they're not. Interesting. Okay. Oh, my guys are out. Out and about. No? Where are you? Oh, you're here. Okay. They were out and about. They lost? Oh, no, that's a fight they went in. Fine. Um, you guys repaired yet? Nearly. Nearly. And you? Yes. Okay. Merge the Pacific fleet back together then. Good. I like the new spice system, but it's so buggy and hard to understand. This is the first time I haven't been able to understand it, honestly. Like, before now, I thought I thought I kind of had it under wraps. I think it must be because I don't own the land. Keep hitting them. Ooh, is that them trying to flee? It might be. <laughs> it's not, it might be some of them trying to flee. All right. As far as my sub can tell, there's no one in Bangkok. So, launch these. And this one. Can I not launch it unless... There we go. No, oh, the cavalry... <laughs> the cavalry never actually arrived. So they haven't been... They are not inevitably launched. But this is the entire... Entire representation of my Royal Marines. Give me, give me some more of those in training in parallel. And now we really should try and pivot. It's very buggy. What are what are some examples? It's possible Black Ice fixes some, that's why I'm not noticing them, because I haven't played that much. Uh, Alright, we have some free stuff. Yeah, some more. More amphibious equipment wouldn't go amiss. Alright, Marines, take Bangkok. And also... Some, just some territorial divisions can go up here. Who else is assigned here? Ah, you guys have decided to assign yourselves there. Well, don't do that. We shouldn't be that worried about naval invasions. So I'm not sure where I should send these guys. Just somewhere with supply. Just come, come sit over here. That was not a request. Like, divisions sometimes stop randomly asking for supply and have zero range. Now, I haven't seen that. Is, is it possible it's been fixed? Ooh. The Americans are here. Fighting in the sky for us. Nice. Nice. Which means now, if we rejoin the fight, if you're fighting in the recaptured land of someone who has capitulated, but you have a connection to your capital, their capital, every capital, it doesn't matter, you'll never get supplies. That is not correct. These divisions are getting supplies. And this is Yugoslavia, who have capitulated. They have divisions in here with, with good supplies. Some of them have bad supply, but that's just because we're overstacking this. Is it possible it's a Kaiserreich bug? Alright. So now, we should be able to take command of the skies here. Or at least give them a good... Uh, Give him a good fight. 
Where, where is the 200 assigned here? Oh, right, because these ones are... These carrier fighters are here. Did you recapture that land after they capitulated? Uh, some of it, yeah. Like this tile. For example. Which is getting supply. Not all of it, though. Is it supply hubs that you recapture? Anyway, we landed in Bangkok. Nice. That's going to start causing some serious problems for them up here. You guys should go back onto a attack plan, even though I'm not going to plan to execute that soon. Now, these four cavalry, I would like them to come here just to, to kind of hold down the situation. Not four of them. Five of them. Ah, oh, it's because some of them are actively involved in this. Yeah, delete that. Assign to here. Good. One or two tiles not the same. Right, so it's got to be a, a recaptured supply hub. Like this one. We recaptured this and the owner capitulated. Maybe it has to be not civil wars. Do, 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 do. All right, so these guys, we don't need this many men here either. Let's let's half the garrison of that front to give myself and add them to the marines. <clears throat> That's what I should do with these guys as well, actually. Add them to the marines. So now it's the time for the marines again. We're going to go after, after Saigon. Good. Don't know the specifics which ruined, ruined campaigns. I do believe you, to be clear. Alright. Got Bangkok. Good. So these guys should start to bleed soon. Because this supply hub will, will cease functioning. So we've cut their, uh, cut their rail connection. Although actually, maybe that won't work because their capital is up here now. Not quite sure how that works. Could also launch some naval invasions of uh, of the Philippines and liberate that. We could also use that to test this theory, or not theory, but test if that is you know actually the case in our in our game right now, because the Philippines have capitulated. So if I take the southern area, theoretically, I should have no supply there. Okay, uh, navies. These guys just regularly signing forth to take out some itty bitty guys. You guys, yeah, you can hold, cancel the repair, base, sorry, strike force, base out of Singapore, but do leave behind the Cavendish. Can't have the Cavendish sinking. Good. US shares Enigma codes. Thank you. US cryptologists have done a great job. Yeah, I've had the I've had the had the German code decrypted for ages, mate. Still slow progress for the Germans in the Soviet Union. Bum, ba -dum, ba -ba -ba -bum. It really has slowed down a lot. There are things I can do to help performance. Like I could yeah, delete all the units of these countries. Which is like the Americas, basically. And I could also add in more, like... Hmm, there aren't really any others that aren't relevant, are there? Debug under swore smooth. What does that do? Should be able to... Should be able to win this one, yeah. And then that'll be them out of Borneo, and then it's just these lads who actually are looking pretty vulnerable right about now. Good stuff. Ah, oh, yes, and the landing down here is being driven back. Amazing. You in bad supply yet? No. Yes, unfortunately, because that's their new capital. That's unfortunate. All right, the cavalry are here, though. Where have the marines gone? Right, I sent them back down here. 
good. So the cavalry, I could also have them cut this. It helps the game speed by prioritizing it other, over other things like your keyboard. Interesting. More Yugoslavian infiltrators to purge. Can I see resistance in other countries? Not very well. We've got some pretty good resistance strength across France. Continuing the fight. I need to retake North Africa. Europe, really stagnant on our fronts. I guess because Germany is just so focused on the Soviets, basically. Which is fine because... I think... I think I find myself in a pretty good position to honestly just island hop to Japan. So, yeah, you know what else I'm going to do? That new army we raised. These chappies. I want you... Hey, there's another Cunningham. Are you related? Is Alan Cunningham related to uh, Andrew Cunningham? If so, I already think you're a legend. So we don't need all these men in Europe anymore. Not least because the Americans have shown up in incredible force. So I'm going to send two, f two full armies to go and back up the naval invasion wing of our our Japanese front and to assist them Horrocks here just because that's a great name is getting promoted delete your current orders likewise I want you in the Raj just fill these areas So they're nice and spread out for supply purposes. Get yourselves over here. Both all all of both moving. Yes, let's get you strap redeploying if you could. Okay, good. So those two armies, and what I'm gonna do is firstly island hop and clear out the Japanese presence here. And then I think I'm gonna land troops and try and take all of the ports off Japan in China. But maybe that's foolish. Maybe we just go straight for the home islands and just try and land in the south. You guys are fine on supply, aren't you? Yeah. So there are some men in Saigon. So this naval invasion will be trickier than the last, but we'll just give it a go once, they're, once they've got it planned. You guys do not need to convoy escort here and here. Well, it does say there's enemy ships there. Oh, no, it doesn't anymore, actually. I don't think you need to convoy escort around there. But let's start convoy escorting up here. All right, you guys repaired? Yes, docked in Singapore? Yes. Okay, strike force me. And honestly, now... I mean, that's a ship... That's a. Both of my fleets have 20 capital ships in them. They only have... 15 capital ships. I think we'll keep them like that, though, just for safety's sake. What I will do, though, I would like to expand the scope of my navies. I guess what we do to do that is fully kick them out of this area, and then we can just move them north. You looked it up, the Cunning Azar brothers? Nice! <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate the... Uh, I appreciate the assist. Okay, well, having one... Yet more decisive victories. Don't worry, Twitch, not going anywhere. I am going to call it apart here for YouTube. Uh, in the next episode, we will begin the counter-offensive. More so against the Japanese. We will attempt to take key ports and islands off them. Uh, they have recaptured here. And then press on to pastures new, seizing Taiwan in order to gain forward air bases and drive their planes out. And then taking Okinawa once again, which will give us striking range deep into their supply lines as they attempt to uh, supply their men in China. And then, then we're off to the races. And the, the question is, once we've secured the seas and these islands, I don't think we need to secure the ones further out, but once we've secured these islands, do we just try and land on the Japanese home islands? Or do we start trying to liberate more bits of China by 
you know, landing in various cities here and obliterating the Japanese army there. I think what we'll probably do is land on the home islands and then if it goes badly, stop and take a longer time to crush these guys. The thing is, crushing their army in, in China doesn't really make the attack on the home islands easier. Exactly. You guys are deployed and on strike. Good. Nice. Okay, yeah, and the Japanese, I mean... I love how much intel we've managed to get on them. Yeah, they're not... They have they have one fleet on invasion, naval invasion support up here, apparently. I wonder what is in that invasion... That, uh, that force. Okay, wow, the... Uh, the Dutch kind of overdeployed to retake this, huh? Okay, so let's put one more infantry here, and then the other three of you. Uh, we need some here. Just making sure these ports don't fall again. And since we are now in the process of expanding which ports we're trying to take, let's move there. Ah, oh, but actually... Oh, hello. Some heavy cruisers. That's not smart of you. Not smart of you at all. You come down here. These should be whacked. Pretty smart. Pretty quick smart, I'd have to imagine. Yeah, organization is dropping. Some hits from uh, naval bombers. And some heavy gun hits. There goes one. There goes all the screens, which means the torpedoes can come in. There goes the torpedo damage, and they all go to the bottom. Rip. I can't believe they haven't taken Hong Kong. I think we should... Uh, <clears throat> yeah, you know what, actually? Let's do that immediately. Some some Indian light infantry. Get yourselves to Hong Kong. And let's protect convoys up to Hong Kong. We're not pulling punches here. How's Europe doing? It's uh, much as you would expect, except we managed to land and defend Greece and a little bit of uh, Yugoslavia and re liberate Albania. Actually, speaking of which, can I have control of, uh, of uh, Albania, please, Greece? Thank you. We had that earlier. I'm not sure how we lost it. More military factories. Um, you know what we could definitely do with doing on military factories is building tanks because we have a lot of military factories coming now so we should try and make the pivot to making some tanks getting some tank divisions ready for the war in Europe and yet yeah, once Bulgaria joins it is going to stretch our lines a bit but it will actually improve the supply situation I think because there's more hubs we'll be able to use which should be good losing some fuel just now because we have two the two huge huge fleets out of port let's get a bit more from them now, what was I thinking about? Uh, yes, so launching this attack on Saigon. Well, step one, just try. No, it's not ready yet, but when it's ready, just try. Just see how that goes. Have they moved their ports out? They have indeed. No, the ships are even... Oh, and they actually have... There's priority here as well. Let's see if we can change that. Uh, got some air bases here I'm not using. Let's fly fly here okay good and we've got them here yes indeed good you should stay in the port and yeah actually these this division is already no they're not okay we should clear them out yep they're getting taken out down here very low supplies in the med yeah we do have some some problematic supply situations down here ah because our damn our allies have pushed the line where we didn't really want them to Let's, uh, let's pull that back. Ooh, crap. Actually, no, we lost this tile. I didn't notice. That's the problem. I knew the front line looked wrong, but I identified the wrong reason for it looking wrong. Okay. Well, that's a problem, because that's our mountain line. And if we couldn't hold that, we're in trouble. Hold there, hold there. Move down. And you guys fall back. Who's still assigned here? You. Fall back, yeah. We'll still fight, as I said, we'll fight them all the way back, trying to, uh, just trying to deny as many Germans the ability to focus on the Soviets as possible. <clears throat> Who's launching an attack here? 
Some British Raj Gurkhas are successfully attacking in there. Interesting. That's kind of annoying because I want them to keep on an attack or whatever. I want them to fall back. There's still something that I want to see. I don't think they'll ever do it, but I want the ability to have an attack plan from a fallback order. So your plan is fall back to this point, but then counterattack. And that makes sense that you could sit there and plan that. Because, you know, you, can, you, don't, you don't have to be right next to an enemy to be able to plan to attack them. We've detected some of their capital ships. There's a new, I think that's a light artillery. Yes. Um, and we should probably invent... Yeah, give me static AA for now. And yes, we will switch over to the new light artillery. Oh, which we might actually want to edit because we do use a lot of light artillery. Give it a bit more reliability. Expensive, that. Very expensive. Okay. Took out one of our one of our guys, Darnham. Where are they? Up here? Try to convoy raid them. They're getting away. We're not very speedy, our ships. Yeah, it looks like they might get away. Oh, no, they turned back. Come on, come on, come on. Get them, get them. Get them. Please. No. Should have gone here and then south. You had to cut them off. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, they came to us. Nice. That was foolish. Hello. It's the Yamato with not nearly enough screening forces. They're technically at 100% screening, but ho ho. Uh, they won't be for long. Instant hits. Trying to retreat. Panama has been called in. Guatemala is calling people in. <clears throat> Yeah, taking hits, but you have to put massive damage on the Yamato to actually destroy it. There goes one of the heavy cruisers instead. Yeah, just a couple of dings. Nothing nothing too, too substantial on the... Uh, done to the Yamato there. Still. Yeah, we took some we took some more serious hits than them, honestly. It says the Trombo was 50% damaged. What's the trauma? I don't see anything 50% damaged. York took a hit. But yeah, Yamato. Naval bombers put 0.5%. 9% from the HMS Renown on the Yamato. 4% from the Orlando. They were the one that so nearly died earlier. Nice. Ah, new Marines. Love to see it. We'll be having them. Yeah, that attack on Saigon not working out. Yeah, not going to work. So call that off and uh, cancel the attack plan. But give me these two new marines and then we'll see what I can do. Could also have done shore bombardment as well. Now they now down here they're going to have bad supply. You know what? With those guys there. Let's try and encircle these guys in a really janky encirclement. So they have the infantry here ready to uh, to hold the line. So what we could also do is try and cut. Oh, Saigon doesn't have a railway line. Okay. They're just going on local supply then, I guess. New decision. Weapons for the Philippine resistance. No, thank you. We'll just liberate them. They don't even need to. They don't need to fight. <laughs> we can just liberate them. That's okay. Another easy win up there. Good. Another naval battle just started. Naval invasion in Borneo. Interesting. Alright, you two. Where are you assigned? Is it these guys? Yeah. Well, go to your go to your post. I know there's bad supply there. Unfortunately, that's the nature of the beast right now. And I'm not still not totally sure why. Could just be completely bugged, of course. But let's just uh Try and get all of these we can garrisoned. Because if we're going to start island hopping, we have to cover all the other islands. Otherwise, they'll just, you know, hop right back. Working towards the uh, 
the uh, territory levels on these guys, but it's going to take quite some time, especially on the Raj. They're, uh, they're a long way away. Okay. What else should I be doing right now? Oh, I said I was ending the episode, and I just didn't. <laughs> I, think, I think I may just not. I think I might go a bit longer and then uh, stop for today. Provide me some stuff, sure thing. And these guys are refusing to move up just because there's not enough supply up there. You know what? It's hard to fault you on that. Let's cancel that idea. Oh, what's this? Ah, oh, right, but it's flipped the Burmese Empire tag. Okay. And yeah, these guys holding that air base is unfortunate. I don't have... I have some more troops here. Let's send them over. And maybe these infantry as well. And then maybe with three of them we can... We could make a play here. Right, so up here, new fallback line has held so far. Ooh, the Americans have shown up to help fight here. Interesting. The new fallback line is not, it's not very well garrisoned. You were meant to be falling back from that tile, but you haven't wanted to, and actually I kind of agree with you. Could do with some more stability. Manifest our destiny. Hmm. There aren't great ways for us to raid our stability. I paused my recording ages ago when we got raided. Mordred, this is all your fault. <laughs> Sorry, YouTube. You missed uh, a little bit. We got enough political power to annex Malaya, and now I'm considering whether we should do it. And also, we are going to invade uh, Syria and Lebanon. We landed here. That was earlier, though. It would make your supply worse to annex them. Hmm. Hmm. Would it? Why? Our supply is predicated on the naval base at Malaya. But I don't think I need to annex them anymore. You know what? I'm going to save in case it totally screws with my supply. And then I'm going to annex them partly just as an experiment. Because I want to know what happens to my supply when we annex them. Boom. We own it. Which means now I could build that big radar station we wanted here earlier. But we don't need it anymore. Yes, it would come from London if we annex them. Which is what I wanted. Okay, so now suddenly we have this huge extra... Supply de deployment coming here. But equally, all these guys have good supply now. So. And but it's, there's more of it being demanded, interestingly. But yeah, our supply is now excellent again. Which is which is as I expected. The one significantly further up. Oh, it did demotorize these things though. So I could just re-motorize this. Yeah, so it's way better. I mean, it's obviously... It would be a problem if the Italians were remotely competent, but as it is, we're sending hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of convoys directly through the Mediterranean, and they're doing absolutely nothing about it. So it's way better. It's also way better over here. So, yeah, I think I'm going to stick with that. Because having this area much more... Much more uh, having much more supply in this area is obviously beneficial. Okay, good. Uh, also, of course, it gives us all their men. Which, given that they have no equipment, I'm tempted to disband. But instead, let's equip them and make them all infantry. And none of them are uniquely holding ports, right? Ah, oh, right, because they were the ones doing these attacks. Um, bring them back to here. Uh, you need an army be under this guy bring them back here as port defenders and then we will 
you know, they'll need to get the get the equipment delivered and then we can resupply them. And it's annoying, of course, because we would have got this annex free, but still, it's pretty good. Also, we get uh, more oil now, I think. Let's momentarily cancel imports of all oil just to see how badly behind we fall. Okay. Uh, yeah, and the push out from Hong Kong is going well because they haven't abandoned their uh, their attack. Throw the infantry behind that as well. Although we were only going to have uh, room for... Oh, no, the Sikhs. Got room for the Sikhs as well. Semi-modern avionics. Nice. I would like the decryption improvements because I want to be able to decrypt the Germans faster when they change their Enigma codes. Still just about holding here, though it is narrow. And the fight in the air is costing us planes. But so far, we're holding on okay. New decision? A military parade in Baghdad. Yeah, that's why you don't rebel. Give me more political power. And then we need to try and raise our stability. Because our stability is, uh, is falling unacceptably. My new lads arrived yet? No, where are they at? Oh, stop going by sea. They will manually get you there then. Why are you taking a freaking... What we could do with our supplies, honestly, it might help. We could build a railway. Like, how long would this take me? I want a railway from here to <laughs> here. <laughs> We'd probably build it along the coast, though. How long would this take? If I wanted a railway to Alexandria. Well, we don't need it to here, really. That would take... Let's have a look. Till two years. <laughs> two years to build that railway. <laughs> I would like it, though. But we're not going to do that. Okay. Now, you lads, you're obviously all going to need to uh, exercise because I've given you a whole bunch of new equipment. Did I get a core on this as well? No, it counts as occupied. Okay. Holy crap! With a huge resistance target. It's an occupied. Okay, never mind. We're gonna we're gonna roll back that save. <laughs> That's ridiculous. There's no way I'm gonna annex that and then suddenly have to deal with like 80% resistance in Malaya. That'll be a nightmare. Even if it makes the supply worse, I'm not doing that. Definitely not. Well, it's a good thing to know, though. It starts at zero compliance? Really? The whole point of, like, slowly deintegrating the, the protectorate is surely to move, you know, gradually towards direct control. That seems like, like the kind of thing that would build compliance. One would have thought. dum ba dum ba dum takes a while to load the saves. In fact, I think this might be the first time I've loaded the save. I mean, like, from within the game. Anyway, any changes I did... I made, what, did, what did I do in the last little minute there? Oh, yeah, I was going to move these... Uh, these are our little, our little cast, aren't they? <laughs> our 35 remaining of the original cast. Incredibly experienced. Can run missions at night. Lots of practice. I started the attack up here. Good. Right, so instead of that, let's use the political power on something else. Like all propaganda for some stability. We're still we we are the fact that we're mobilized is really hurting. Um What's Operation Exporter again? Oh yes, the declaration. Uh, we could do their finest hour speeches as well. Because it gives us base stability for a while. There isn't any costs, more base stability. And then hold, thank the RAF <laughs> speech. <laughs> nice. Oh, it's permanent. Thanking the RAF makes them better at escorting and stuff. Yeah, do it. So much owed to so few. More stability. Any more speeches? Doesn't look like it. Could ban communism. Low stability, though. Okay. Alright, attacks over here. Still ongoing. 
You coming down to help. Okay. Still have 150 political power. Don't really need the electronics concern anymore. Could do peace and stability guy later. Because the 10 stability, you know, we can afford to lose the war support. It's trending up. Because we can do war propaganda for it. Um, could I'm also tempted to go to limited exports. To keep more of this... Uh, more of our resources. It does seem sensible. It does lower our uh, our research speed by 4%, but I think it's worth it. Because it means I'm going to be able to uh, yeah, import less aluminium and uh, oil in the future. Stop importing all that oil from the US. Let's see what the situation is. Because our fleets are not having to to sail nearly as much anymore. You guys arrived? Yes. You guys are in reinforce, aren't you? Yeah. But you could do with some more subs in the reserve. And I think they're going to get yoinked immediately. Yes. Good. And we're mobilizing still. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. Anything else we changed at the end of the last one that I want to change again? don't think so. These guys looking on much lower organization and equipment than they were earlier. It's interesting. One year is what it would take to burn through our current reserves of fuel. Less, actually. Okay. Yeah, Hong Kong has indeed not fallen. Let's just do 72 from them. We are actually reinforcing it. Sending in the infantry. I've sent uh, five five divisions over there. Same so modern avionics, I remember. Do, 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 do. Give me... We went for decryption last time, but actually, let's start inventing some tank stuff. Yes, I know I have people... Cypher's broken, that's fine. Um, oh, I did want to do that for the bleeding machine decryption, because that gives you tons, doesn't it? Um, this is worthless. I think, yeah, it's not the rest of this that I really want. Okay, yeah, it's just you guys. You're the only two inactive ones. Good. Any more wings of planes I could deploy? No. Decidedly no. Okay. Oh, sailing forth. Anything exciting? No. A couple of subs. A couple of subs that we can kill. Plenty easy. Yeah, managing to hold Hong Kong was a was quite the coup. We uh, we didn't even fortify it or anything. They just never really pushed past it, and that being the case, I guess they were worried about extending their line. Let's leave one one infantry behind to make sure we don't still hold it. Then the rest of them. Press on in. Let's uh, let's keep going. Okay, because yeah, I mean they're going to be in bad supply here. The other thing we can do actually is convoy raid the Yellow Sea and the Sea of Japan. Base these subs somewhere else. Base these subs out of Hong Kong, and then we can raid. Uh, we can't, still can't quite reach here. But yeah, I mean, there's they have transports down here, but I don't, don't for the life of me know why. You guys don't really need to raid there anymore. And these guys have better range, so sure, let's send some of them up there. And I mean, our fleets, yeah, our main fleets. Or well, let's put one of them. Let's base it out of Hong Kong. Because right now. Uh, they're not very active down here anymore. In fact, there's none of them down here anymore. So we can we can head north. Bold man. <laughs> chat thinks I'm being bold, or at least Duke does in chat. Thinks we're being bold against the uh, against the Japanese. <laughs> Do we tell him? <laughs> Here's the entire Japanese navy. <laughs> We obliterated them. We absolutely obliterated them. It was insane. 
Look at this. Look at this. In the current year, we killed 696 ships, including 100 Japanese destroyers, 35 Japanese submarines, 5 Japanese carriers, 3 Japanese light carriers, 16 Japanese cruisers, 3 Japanese torpedo boats, and 5 Japanese capital ships, as well as hundreds and hundreds of convoys. Representing to the Japanese a total manpower loss just to us of 715,000 men, almost all of them at sea. <laughs> it's nuts. And some jank encirclements into the bargain. Dong dong. Oh. Philippine officer officers. And there's early landing craft. Excellent. Keep that going. Give me improved landing craft. And then what else did I just invent? I didn't see. Oh yeah, and we can get floating harbors. That'll be fun. Hmm. <laughs> Large submarine factories. And this tech gives us 15% cheaper uh, subs cost. That's cool. Is that more capital ships than the whole rest of the world combined? It's actually, that number seems low. It was more than five capital ships. Maybe it's because it's not showing the last month ones there. We sunk more capital ships than that. It's probably counting, okay, I think it doesn't mean capital ships. I think it's counting some of the capital ships as cruisers because we sunk more capital ships than that. Um, but yeah, I think that is more capital ships than earlier, right? Yeah, previously we'd only sunk four capital ships. Uh, this mean, It means battleship, basically, by capital ship here, I think, but still. Right, um, what should I be inventing? Lots of infantry stuff that we should be inventing. Oh, crap, there's new infantry equipment that we haven't invented. Okay, and... Right, I was going to manually get these guys here faster. More factories to assign. We're still short Spitfires, so give me give me a few more on Spitfires, actually. You guys can come come up here. Just temporarily temporarily assign them here. So how many can I naval invade with now? Uh, six. God, only give us two extra slots. Are you kidding me? All right. Well, some of you guys that are pretty good. Come down here. We're gonna try and I'm gonna I'm gonna risk it, I think. I think we might try and land on the sides of Saigon. Oh actually. Okay. Find a division whose life you don't value. These garrisons are very cheap. Put them under the naval invasion army. We're gonna invade from here. An attack here, which is where that supply hub is, right? Yeah, here and here. Yeah, I think that could work, you know. Remember when you had to invade from multiple ports when you wanted to land in multiple places? I remember. It sucked. We're going to land and try and cut their rail connection down here. Oh, no, hang on. Yeah, not there here yeah do, 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 do. and we're only using these garrisons because there's not very many men in them okay good and that I think might hurt the supply in Saigon but we'll see what are you up to? docked in Hong Kong right but we'll let them reorganize no actually you know what you don't need to reorganize you can crush them with the, without even organizing and we can repair in, in Hong Kong as well. What we should also probably do is maybe throw up an air base or something in Hong Kong. Where the heck is the air base? There it is. How long would that take? Oh, it's they're so cheap. Whoa, they're so cheap. Yeah, give me an air base in Hong Kong. Give me some radar in Hong Kong. That's more expensive, but still, only a month. Give me a big radar in Hong Kong. And that'll give me some really nice vision over this whole area. I'd rather have it in Taiwan, but I think we're going to need it in Hong Kong. 
yeah, that seems good to me. We put off that encirclement? We did. <laughs> All right. Cavalry. Indian cavalry. Close the encirclement. Infantry, back it up. What do you got here? There's another 22,000 casualties for the Japanese. Just still those two, yeah. I think I want them here. What little close air support we still have. And then didn't I have some medium bombers that I was using somewhere else? Thought I did. Oh yeah, and we still had this Force A positioned against the uh, and the French fleet here that we stripped all the we stripped all the good ships out of all the capital ships anyway. The Italians just don't warrant it anymore. These naval bombers haven't had haven't done anything in ages. So let's be having them over in the east as well. Uh send them further east, I guess. Yeah, if they can hit some supply trying to get into these guys, that'd be good. Now use two. Come over here and see if with a planned offensive we can do something there. There's no supply here. So we're going to need to motorize that hub. Start redeploy over there. We'll see how you do. Okay, meanwhile, yeah, these guys being able to strike from Hong Kong. <laughs> it's good stuff. We don't really need to be scouting here, but there's not too much of a downside. Yeah, these guys are better equipped, so they're, they're holding better, but they're not going to hold for long. Don't go speed four. Speed four. Three is fine. They're kind of trying, leaving themselves a bit open for encirclement here, but the supply situation means I just don't, don't really want to do it. These light infantry. Oh, hang on. I haven't, <laughs> I haven't forgot I had military access through, uh, through China. Does that mean I can see your supply situation? Yeah. You've got plenty of supply here. I think uh, I think I want to send these guys to China. Let's see what it looks like if we position them here. I'm going to force them to go in, and then we'll we'll see what it looks like once they've arrived. This is a two-hour, twenty-minute YouTube video, by the way. <laughs> I really need to clear out my uh, hard drive after this video. <laughs> also, there's probably some guys down here we can encircle pretty easily too, on there. Yeah, those guys have, like, no organization. Let's start moving south. Right, and I forgot, these mot these cavalry are actually semi-motorized infantry. So they're, uh, they're better than you might think. Navies. Practically no one engaged right now. Oh, here they are. The new, the Shire class. Hell yeah. Put him in, coach. Put him in the Pacific Fleet. Alright, and these subs in the med. Have you done anything recently? We're still getting some convoys around here, but not many lately. So I'm actually going to send you east as well. So hold everything. Rebase, rebase yourself to Hong Kong. And I'm going to get you to raid. Oh, hang on. That's, that's still giving you the... Delete all the regions. I want you to convoy raid around Japan. Good stuff. This one falls ill. And these guys are titchy. And you're a bit too big. Split that up. Fine. Good. Now, new ships. Just some new new destroyers, some advanced escort destroyers. They can come over and join the East Reserve, I think. And these cruisers, they're probably fine. Let's put a couple of these escorts into one of these ones that's looking a little a little low. Good. Okay, come out, come out, Japan. I dare you. Oh, we've lost a little bit of naval intel. 
Let's do another naval infiltration on Japan. Oh, right. I've got to capture and rescue my captured operative, haven't I? Send this guy. And then also infiltrate their navy. Send the linguists. No, not the captured one. Good. Yeah, because knowing where they have their missions assigned is, is pretty nice. Pretty useful. Yeah, we've got great supply around Bangkok. Fab. Now you two, if I try to assign you here, you're going to complain, aren't you? But just do it. Do it anyway. We've got this fully motorized, so it's going to get up there as far as it can. That was the German Navy? The man is right. How do I cancel an operation? You find the operators. The button to cancel it is the one that says refund. <laughs> I can think of a more intuitive name for that button. Okay, you guys will send someone. Yeah, you know, who's spying on the Italians? We don't need to spy on the Italians anymore. They're a spent force. No one is. Okay. Yeah, send the linguists. Go for it. I appreciate the heads up. Thank you. Yeah, a couple of planes. Quite a lot of planes actually active against our navy here. Be interesting to see. We haven't really put our the AA on our ships to the test too much so far. So China, I don't suppose you're willing to give me control of these uh, these provinces temporarily. <laughs> Probably not, right? Does military access also give docking rights? I guess it... Oh, that's why it was... T oh, yeah. Earlier I thought it was like... That's weird. Why are people willing to give me military access but not docking rights? But it's because they're the same thing. Okay. You two are in a port now. Good. So, sign you to this. And then get over here. Ah, oh, one of my... Garrison's got assigned. There we go. And both of you... Get in the right province. New Zealand wants to send us one expeditionary force. Wow. That's so generous. A mounted rifles brigade. Go. Oh, hey. <laughs> Someone else cleared them out for us. <laughs> nice. <laughs> well, I guess we just garrison the port then. Uh, and this port. And then that new guy also into a port garrison and garrison uh, this port. Cool. Yeah, convoy raiding still going really well. Don't need to be de active down here because there's no enemy ships raiding us here. Here? Also no enemy ships raiding us here. So not really needed there. Let's just focus on escorting where it's actually needed. Although actually those two connect, so. Good. Cypher decrypted on Germany. Italy changed their codes. Fine. Do that again then. Oh no, I'm being silly. You know what? These guys are on an attack move? No. We could have them attack south into uh, in here, but then I'm pretty sure China will be very insistent on keeping occupation of it because they've obviously feel not unjustifiably like they've done a lot of the work <laughs> against uh, against Japan. All right, you guys all assigned down here. You infantry just hold the immediate vicinity of Bangkok. Good. Now these guys can push down. They do have this port, so they will have some supply here. But with any luck, they will not have that port for very long. Good stuff. Still danger of them taking over. But we're deploying more men, so. Um, what else do I want to deploy? Could start deploying some of our elite infantry. The only difference being we've added in the AA. Support AA, rather. Hmm, what do we need to do that, though? Ooh, they've declared on a run. Interesting. Yeah, keep going down here. Imperial State of Iran joined the Axis. Okay, that's a bit of a problem. <laughs> Forget about 
this little attack down here. We need to garrison the Iranian front. Uh, and hey, one of you armies, I'm going to need you over here. And then we can't really advance from that front, so let's put four of you there and the rest of you here. But I don't know what the hell we're going to do about supply. Logistics in Iran are going to be nightmarish. Have to imagine they're going to get called against us momentarily. Hey, Coven. How's it going? Okay. Pushing in here without too much trouble. They're obviously going to have horrendous supply issues because of all of this, you know, this convoy raiding. Transport ships, transport ships, transport ships. Lost one sub in there. Two subs in there. But we're trading really well. At least I think we are. We could try convoy raiding with this fleet. <laughs> Just see what they do. Dangerous naval invasion in southern Norway. I doubt it. Our glorious... Oh, sorry, that's theirs. Where are my men? Oh, they're attacking straight into Oslo. Okay, so we're not even getting to use my my special fortress garrisons with their heavy artillery. You know what else we could do? We could put combat engineers, motorized combat engineers into all our infantry. It would cost stuff that we do have, including a lot of motorized equipment. does make them use a bit more supply. Do it. One less org, more weight, but more defense and all that, but also, yeah, just statistical bonuses in lots of different places. Using quite a lot more fuel, but we have, we have the ability to get a lot of fuel if we need it. So yes, let's make a hard shift and get, well, normal combat engineer companies they're they're lighter and without the extra fuel use it's only one percent less attack in different areas yeah okay we'll go normal combat engineer if i want to put the support anti-air do i have the support anti-air for that i do actually it's a lot more light vehicles these are motorized as well though right yeah We were to go with Cav. This is what I don't quite understand. It seems like, why would you motorize it? Because the stats seem the same, except you don't use fuel on the support companies. Maybe it's the movement speed changes. 2% river, 2% amphibious, 1% forest, mountain, jungle, marsh. Our car is the same. Okay, well, we'll just go with Cav then. Because I don't want to use the light vehicles to carry it. Let's do it. Support engineers and light anti-air light anti -air into all our equipment, which means the elite artillery, in all our infantry, which means the elite infantry are no longer required. We could also add another infantry to every single one of them, just to just grow the entire size of our army a whole bunch. We do actually have the equipment to do this. Make them heavier and a tiny bit over 25. Right now they're under 25. Yep, let's do it. Let's deploy a whole bunch more men just by changing the size of our infantry divisions. Seems good to me. That seems bad to me though. Oh, well. It's close. It's close. We have air superiority probably from the uh, US. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's well. With, if they support me, we could probably put it off. But we actually now think about it. There's no real reason to push through them. If we can just push along the coast, we can encircle them. Are you guys on your way? Yes. It's just going to take a long time because there's no infrastructure here. So even strat redeploying. Oh my god, it's so slow. <laughs> yeah, it's actually a terrible idea. Let's um, let's just have them go to this port first. It's easier. Uh, and that port they should get to via via Rangoon. Yeah, that's probably the easiest way to do it. Okay, meanwhile here, they have abandoned the front. 
don't know where they've gone because they haven't got anywhere to flee. Maybe they fled out of that port, I guess, actually. Yeah, that's probably what they did. Okay, have my new Marines arrived yet? No, they're going to be here in 24 days. But actually, I'm here and Saigon looks kind of empty. So maybe we launch these anyway and just be legends. The fact that I'm engaged here might mean that my subs can't see anything, but we'll see. You guys just win something? No, oh, they got they got a chance stolen away. Yeah, this total dominance against the uh, the Japanese navy is very satisfying. Because we invested hard in navies. We don't have any tanks because of how hard we invested in the navy. Let's try and change that as well. Start inventing some of these bad boys. Yeah. Try and invent some of these cruisers. See how we can do. Yep, they're not garrisoning their ports. They have that few men. We sunk so many Japanese men at sea. Hundreds of thousands of Japanese men perished at sea. How many men do they even have? They have a million deployed manpower, roughly. That's crazy. That we managed to sink, you know, 900,000 men. It's half their entire armed forces. And it'll be the more experienced, higher quality half that got sunk. That's the insane thing about all this. You know, it was their marines, their expert marines that they launched in, like, massive naval invasions that just got absolutely denied. Uh, purge them. Yeah, what is their draft on? It's a good point. No, they're still only on 18 to 40. General mobilization. Elite standards. Three-year draft. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, not going so hot for them. The game is really slowing down, though. And yeah, indeed, they, for some reason, failed to garrison Saigon for one second. And we're going to make them pay for it by immediately taking their airbase off them. Which leaves them with... Just this. This is the only... Well, this, uh, which now that we've lost. So just this is their only supply base in Indochina until you get up to Hanoi. Okay, well... That was foolish of you, bud. Oh, yeah. Uh, where are the other... Oh, they have no mission. No, nothing assigned now. Um, well, I guess we're going to try and take Taiwan off them. So come on over to Hong Kong. This is indeed single player, yes. And are we going to be able to land here before they guys, these guys move through? No, sadly. So the garrisons are... Oh, actually, we might. I oh, know it was the other one that was moving fast, wasn't it? Oh, it's going to be close. <laughs> we are going to land first. Agent captured. By whom? Who they captured by? Captured by Japan? Oh, good. So this this should liberate them already. Nice. There goes their supply hub. No supply connection to the capital, so it's not going to work, but also denies it to them. And there's the airbase captured. Room for 200 planes. These planes down here are no longer needed because they're not going to come under threat again, so don't mind if I do. Siamese Empire has capitulated. I didn't really factor that into my thinking. But of course, now that I think about it for one second, that makes perfect sense. Okay. Um, so, let's rush these cavalry over here. And see if we can get ourselves in Hanoi before they know what's happening. There's no... There's like no infrastructure in Laos, right? Yeah, very little. So it's going to be very hard to move up to them, but we'll see what we can do. And you guys finally, suddenly find yourself in the unenviable position of being behind enemy lines. As do you. 
And these are Gurkhas, which means we can move through these mountains pretty easily. Definitely don't need you there anymore. There's road network as well. Good. So let's get steel industry just so that I can um, start working towards tanks. New political thing. A tank designer. Seems like the obvious choice. Uh, advanced medium tank design costs. Cavalry tank design costs. Infantry tank design costs. And heavy tank design ta costs. Infantry tanks would kind of fit how we've been playing so far. But what I don't know is which is which. So right now we've invented these guys. Or we're working down this cruiser chain. What are you? Cavalier turret. Centaur turret. But what kind of tank are you? Medium tank, medium tank, medium tank, cavalry tank. Okay. So it's going to be medium tanks that we're using. These cruisers are the ones we'll actually build, probably. Okay, so give me a one that helps with medium tanks then, please. Uh, medium tank design costs 20% and 10% research speed and everything gets armor and cheaper. Nice. Okay. Cut in there a bit if you would. No, not working. Okay, fine. Just move to the move to the front and see what it's like. Uh, little naval battle, nothing significant. I think I think we leave them on the Philippines. I don't think there's any reason for me to kick them off the Philippines because they're just going to desperately try to supply their men there and fail. <laughs> like that's that's the sum total result of the Japanese occupation of the Philippines, which must be kind of disheartening. Do 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 do. All right, and you guys, since you're in here, can then. Hello, cannot counterattack a unit you're already defending against. Right, yes, but I should be able to tell them to shift, lift, click it, and then launch said counterattack once it starts. How's the Soviet front been? Not great. Not great. More oil, less aluminium. They're. Uh, they're cutting pretty close to Moscow. <laughs> the Germans are scary. The thing is, <laughs> the thing about the Germans, <laughs> I feel like we can beat them, right? Eventually. We need tanks and stuff, but we can beat them. So even if the Soviets fa fall, I'm not sure what what happens then. <laughs> like, what do they do next? Yeah, the Soviet front is slowing the game down a lot, I think. It seemed like it really seemed like when the when they invaded it it, it made a, a very sudden difference. Are the Soviets or Germans buffed? I think I buffed the Germans, yeah. I can't completely remember to be honest. But I believe I buffed the Germans. Oh yeah, actually, I've just realized. These uh these guys are not cut off behind enemy lines. Like I uh, like I said, cuz they actually have this direct connection over here. But that said, they also don't have any actual like supply. Oh, they built a supply hub here. Oh no, they didn't. Why is there a supply hub showing here? Huh. Not quite sure how that's working. Also, now I look again at this front. Don't attack that tile. Just attack this tile and circle them here. So attack them weakly just to hold them in place. And then, yes, you guys have got them done. Nice. Excellent. So that's supply hubs captured. My garrisons were always going to have a hard time there. You infantry. Where are the rest of your guys assigned? Like here. Now who else is in your division? These guys... Okay. Who else? Some garrisons over there. They shouldn't really be in this army. They should be in one of the one of the many port defenders, so I know what they're up to. Okay, so you guys, a few more. Same story, but I guess I'll leave them. They're jungle rats. So let's. Uh, 
Yeah, let's be having them. Let's let's kick Japan out. Let's let's get into these open plains. Let's get active. Oh yeah, Iran. <laughs> I forgot about Iran. So they join the Axis, but they haven't actually joined the war against me. And I can't justify a war on them. I can do a focus to declare war on them, though. It takes 70 days. Well, I don't want the Soviets taking land in the south of Iran, because if the game speeds up, which is unlikely, but if the game speeds up, I was thinking we might want to do a fight against the Soviets. Seems fun, right? The Regiment Normandy. What's that going to give you? Hmm, they get some. They give the Soviets some uh, some aircraft. Interesting. Sure, decrypt the Romanians. Yeah, the game is really kind of slowing to a crawl. Let's get in here. No, actually, yeah, don't do that. Well, you might as well drive them off because they're incredibly low, badly organized. And just take these ports. Dun, 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 dun. Oh yes, and uh, some of you guys actually should come over here and help me hold this area. And then I can move these guys out. So go and do some more naval invasions, as is their purpose in life. But they're lowering; they, these guys are lo losing organization and attrition and stuff, but slower than the uh, Japanese that are around them. So. Uh, and you light, light guys. Light infantry, you can come out here. Okay. Hey, nice. Another, uh, another nice victory. That leaves them with even less capital ship presence. Good. Okay, but I said I was going to end a while ago, and now I think I'm actually going to do it. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. We have fully stabilized the Dutch East Indies and British Malaya, the counter-offensive in uh, this region. Whatever it's called, Indochina is ongoing, and uh, we are helping the Chinese retake much of their coastline. Excellent stuff. Thank you so very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.